Mailman gang, rise up and welcome back to the channel. So, a year ago, I made my first ever room tour, and my room looked like this. Oh boy, my room has changed a ton. Today marks a year, and you guys have been asking for this. We just hit 2k last week, so cue the music. This is my 2021 LEGO room tour. And yes, I know my room is small. But I've managed to make the best out of it. I put in shelves, and honestly, I love how this thing looks. Especially this side of the room. I love my working space where I can draw and make videos. I also have this other space where I put most of my sets in. Like you can see right here, I have like my bounties, my dragons. Going back to the bounties, I have the 2017 bounty, which is such a masterpiece. I love every single detail of this thing. I also have next to it, the 2012 bounty, which is such an underrated set. Like people crap on this thing a ton. But this thing, when it came out, was great. I also have stuff like the Destiny Shadow, which, I mean, it's a neat set. I got this recently. Underneath, I have a few of my dragons. I can see uh, Empire Dragon, Energy Dragon, Legacy, Dr Golden Dragon, and this giant fire snake thing. Yeah, I forgot its name. Underneath this section, I have Lloyd's Mac Dragon, which I used to love, but now I, I'm kind of mixed on. I also have the original Golden Dragon and the Legacy Ultra Dragon. Next to this section, I have my stair display, where I have my Ninjago Skybound display, and I love this thing. I bought all of the sets this year. I have the entire Nauticon crew, I have the lighthouse, I have every single ninja from the Skybound season. And I know, this isn't so accurate, but hey, it works for me. Over here, I have a monastery, and I mean, this has been in my room for a bit now. It stayed pretty much the same, I just have the ninja in the robes, Samurai X, and Chompy. Above this, I have my video games and like a small villain display. Down here is my favorite part though. This is my mini monkey kid display. It's mainly MK defending Pixie's noodle shop against an army of bull clones. Yeah, this, for me, it looks really cool. Under here, I have my Star Wars stuff, which is not that much. It's just like the 2011 Falcon and the dual on Starkiller base. Next to this part, I have my Harry Potter stuff, which, fun fact, Harry Potter was the first theme I ever bought. Right now, I don't really have a lot of Harry Potter sets built. I only have Hagrid's Hut and the Graveyard Duel. Underneath here, I have like miscellaneous stuff. I have like a, fun a couple of Funko Pops, like my, my Batmobiles. And uh, over here, I have a couple of projects I did for school and art pieces I made for myself. Uh, next to this thing, I have like my, my soup thingy, where I keep this bad boy, the Cloud Roadster. One of my favorite Monkey Kid sets. I love this thing. It's just gorgeous, come on, like, you can't argue against this thing. And yeah, my shoes. Now, it is time. Let's go into my display. Starting off with the Fortrex. The Fortrex, I, as I said, I got this year. Honestly, I like it, even though it's very small. I thought it would be bigger. But, in the context of this display, I think it works fine. I love how all the knights look coming out. Next to the Fortrex is my LEGO Movie stuff. It's mostly LEGO Movie 2 stuff, but I do have one LEGO Movie 1 set in there. Above this, I have my Tournament of Elements stuff, which is very vague because I only have one tournament set. So yeah, you can only- that's all- that's all I have. Next to that, I have Garmadon's Evil Fortress. I got this set recently. It came with Samukai, it came with Garmadon, and I love how this thing looks. I have all the original Ninja and their original spinners about to make the Tornado creation. This is my favorite display out of the shelf. Above that, I have my Team and T stuff, or what's left of it. I wish that we did more, but hey, one can only wish. Next to this, I have my Marvel stuff. Like, I, I used to have Marvel builds, but most of my builds are in pieces, and I mainly have Marvel minifigs now. Above this, I have my Season 11 display, which is mainly the castle of the Forsaken Emperor with a couple of spinners, right? <laughs> uh, next to that, I have the Temple of Resurrection, which is another set I love. I have all the Sons of Gamaron on there, and I just, I love how this thing looks. I think this set is so underrated. It is so beautiful. And that's about the shelf. Now, over the shelf, I have my Nexonite stuff. And this is all stuff I got this year. Uh, it's a small army, if you could call it that. It's mainly like three sets or four sets. I have like stone clay on there. Uh, I forgot what the, this thing is called, but I do have the Colossus and the Colossus is awesome. And I also got it for really cheap. I have like, I think it's General Garg. I don't know. He's super expensive for some reason. And yeah. <laughs> anyway, and the three brothers. Now let's move away from next nights and let's go into my crossover shelf. This is what people always gravitate towards to when they come into my room. 
here is where I put most of the sets that don't have space for their own display. So I, like, I have Yin and Jin back there. I have the Jungle Dragon. I have, you know, the Rattlecopter, which is one of my favorite sets ever. I have the Ice Polar Bear Mech, and I also have like Miles Morales jumping on, jumping off from the Polar Bear Mech. Back there, I have Kai and Iron Man versus Overborg. Uh, over here, I have um, Rocket Racer against Moro. I have Forsaken versus a Ghost. I have Cole versus Two Face. I have Star Girl jumping off the Paranormal Bus. I have Jay riding on Ray Speeder versus Killer Moth. I have the Star Lords versus General Cryptor. I have Wolverine versus Scarecrow. I have the Storycopter attacking um, something. I have a uh, mock there. I have my White Dragon Horse Bike mock. I have Captain America with his Avenging Cycle. I have Blue Beetle versus Carnage over the Batmobile. I have Macaque fighting a Werewolf on the Pigsy's food truck. I have uh, Zod versus Superman. And behind them, I have MK Racing Wukong. Oh boy, we're almost done. So over here, I have a Gargoyle attacking the Nightcrawler. I also have a Lego Movie Bike. I forgot the name of it. I also have a McLaren that Bugs Bunny and Redbird from Angry Birds and the Adidas guy are driving. And I have Ultimate Clay on a Hover Horse. Now let's move back up into my other next one I display, which is Jestro's Castle thing. I forgot the name. Um, the display is pretty much straightforward. Like the Knights are attacking Jestro's Castle. I have Jestro there, I have the Book Monster, I have like my small Nexo Knights army, I have uh, Beastmaster versus Clay, I have Macy like fighting off or trying to go in, I have the other, the rest of the Knights. Next to that I have a Mock, and behind that I have General Magmar's Siege Machine of Doom, which is, is, this is one of my favorite sets ever. Now I also have the Bone Demon entrance, and behind the Bone Demon entrance I have the Bone Mech. Oh, this is a beauty, it's huge, it's massive, and I love this thing so much, you should buy it. I, uh, next to that, I have the MK Mech from the Bone Demon and my mock, and my White Dragon Horse mock. Next behind that, I have the Monkey Mech, a beauty, you should buy it before it retires, please do that. And finally, I have Griefbringer, which is a really good dragon, but stability sucks. And that's pretty much like my Season 13 display. And that's about it. This is like my desk. This is where I, I film videos right now. I was recording a, a spinner video. You should watch probably pretty soon. That's my mic. And that's my logo. As always, I'm Ace. Thanks for watching and take care.